The array includes method is the best way to find if an array contains a specific value in JavaScript. Let's take a look at how you can use includes, as well as why I prefer it over other methods such as index of. So here's an example array that I've defined, and if we want to search this array for a given value, all we have to do is call includes on it. So I'll type out the name of my array, and then dot includes, and I'm going to pass in the value that I want to search for. So in this case, I'm going to pass in a string, and if I wanted to search for the string dog to see if that exists in the array, I'll just pass in dog there, and you can see that array includes is going to return true. So includes is going to check the array and see if the value that you're passing in exists anywhere in the array. It is going to do a strict comparison when searching, so it's only going to find exact matches of the string that you're passing in. So if I passed in dog with an uppercase D, you can see that array includes is going to return false here. But I can search for any of the values in my array. So if I wanted something like bird here, I can see that that is in the array, but something like lizard is not in the array. So that's basic usage of array.includes. But you can also pass a second argument to the includes method, which specifies where you want to start the search within the array. So let's go back here and search for dog again. So I'm going to have array.includes dog. But in this case, let's say that we want to start the search after the second index in the array. As the second argument, we can pass in the index where we want to start the search. Again, this is the index. So I'm going to pass in two, which means that we're going to start the search right on bird here. So zero, one, two, this is where the search is going to start. And you can see that now array.includes is going to return false, even though it was returning true before. Again, that is because the search is now starting at this second index and then going on for the rest of the array. If I instead started the index at one, notice how dog, uh, the search for includes dog is going to start returning true again. It is now starting the search on this element here, which obviously is part of the array. Now, at the start of this video, I also mentioned that I prefer using includes over methods like index of if I just need to check if a value exists in an array. That is because includes is very easy to use and it's kind of hard to misuse. Whereas index of, you have to know how it works and you have to be aware of many of the little tricks of working with it in JavaScript. So let's take a look at what can happen if you actually use uh, index of instead of includes. So here's our, our array again, and you might find a lot of code examples online that suggest writing index of, and then the value that you're searching for. So in this case, we can search for dog. Now the index of method is going to return the index in the array where the value is being found. So you can see that dog is being found at the first index, which is correct. We can see it is right there in the array at the first index. Now, if we pass in a value that does not exist in the array, such as puppy, we'll get back negative one. Um, and finally, if we pass in the first value in the array here, we'll get back zero. Now, these numbers are helpful if you're searching for the index where something occurs in an array, but they're very easy to misuse if you're writing a conditional statement. So for example, let's say that I wanted to run some code only if cat exists in the array. I might be tempted to write something like this. So I'd say if index of cat, and then I'll say console.log i. When I go and I run this code, though, you can see that nothing has been printed to the console. Um, and if we look at the different ways that index of is being run up here, we can start to understand what is going on. So index of, in this case, is going to return zero because cat exists at the first index. But in JavaScript, zero is a falsy value. So it's going to go and not run the uh, statement here because it is evaluated to false inside of the if statement. Now, if I instead search for something that did not exist in the array, so if I search for puppy, which we were looking at before, it is actually going to go and run the code, which is probably also not what you want. This is a little bit confusing in JavaScript, but it is because negative one, which is the value we're getting back when we call index of here, is actually a true value in JavaScript. Um, so JavaScript treats that as a true value, so it will run the statement for our if statement here. It's very easy to forget this when using index of in JavaScript, which is why I recommend using includes instead. So if we instead say includes here, notice how hi has not been printed to the console. We did not go and run the statement. If I instead say includes for cat, it is correctly going to print things to the console. So it's a lot harder to misuse includes because it is returning a true or false value as you would expect instead of a confusing number value, which JavaScript will then go and convert in its weird ways uh, to either a true value or a false value. So that's a quick introduction to the array includes method in JavaScript. If you need to find if an array contains a specific value, I recommend using includes as the modern and safe approach.